Hi, this is a demonstration of Ludwig, which is a deep learning toolbox to test models without coding. Ludwig was released by Uber about a month ago and they claim uh, no need to code for running models. Let's see how it works. So Ludwig takes CSV as an input, which is just highlighted over here. And uh, there is a YAML file which gives the input features and the output features. So by running a few commands, we get the output. So there are some uh, predefined examples which is provided on the right hand side. You can just go through and uh, try it out. There is a detailed user guide which tells you how to train, predict, experiment, visualize. And on the right hand side we have different uh, features as processing, the encoders, the hyperparameters to be selected, so on and so forth. It even gives you some visualizations which will help you to compare your model, your testing, training and uh, some basic stuff. It even gives you a Python API wherein you can load your uh, Pandas data frame, any data, initialize your model and then predict it. And the best part of Ludwig is it is even trying to uh, include the transformer Elmo and BERT, the encoders which would require less coding and which are much matured. Let's see one example. I'm just taking an example of sentiment analysis. I have copied this review and sentiments as a CSV and uh, the input features also, which is provided over here. So we have different commands, which is an experiment. The experiment commands combines both uh, training as well as prediction. Which, which 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 would help only in terms of uh, demonstrations but not in real time so experiment just inputting the test file whatever was there and uh, i will take the model definition file which is my yaml file and give my model definition file and enter so what happens is it runs the training, testing and certain things are stored. Let me just walk you through. So when we just start our model, there are some input features, the first processing and uh, there is a split probability wherein it will split your data into training, testing and validation and it writes three data sets and then there is a training wherein there are different uh, epochs which are trained and what is the accuracy and since I told uh, experiment is a combination of training and predict it has even predicted and these are some of the statistics of the prediction and the results are inside the result folder. So we have two files which are created here if you see the JSON file and the HDF uh, file file the HDF5 file will have the data and the JSON will have the mapping. So I'll just walk you through the JSON file. So if you see here, these are some of the character strings, the frequency of occurrence and uh, some of the vocabulary, the word strings, the sequence, so on and so forth. So this would be the JSON. So if you want to uh, if you want to predict using your model, so you just have to load your JSON file and uh, we can predict using the command. You need not run your uh, files again and again if the mapping is same. So what HDFI does is it will store data and uh, you might have trained your model to one particular data and you can start from the previous point and need not uh, recompute it once again. So the results folder will have uh, these are n number of iterations. The number of iterations you do, one more folder gets created called run0, run1 and so on and so forth. So here we have the description.json wherein how the command was run, what was the file used, what was the input features, output features, what is the training and other stuff. And uh, we have the training statistics which gives you some basic statistics on what is the accuracy, what is the loss, what is the validation accuracy and other things and uh, prediction statistics what what is the confusion matrix what is the uh, overall stats what is the loss what are the positive false positives true negatives 
and uh, it even gives you a sentiment prediction csv which is just a part of uh, demonstration so in the next video we'll see how a sentiment analysis works in ludwig thanks for watching the video